Hey, here we are. Back in the hole. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Um, I think we're at the 28th day of December here. Uh, Missouri, we're sitting at about 35 degrees. Uh, not leaf on the tree anywhere, except for the pin oaks. Anyways, we got that bunch of bottles sitting over there in that hole there, which we are hoping will cave off and fill in itself. But right now, we're looking at that bad boy right there. So I'm going to get down in there, do some digging, and we'll see you from the hole. Well, in the hole, we found a few things. Um, got this uh, for consumption. Dug that out. That's real nice candy dish top or heck I don't know what it is got one little blemish right there still pretty nice the design inside of it found an old Listerine good shape I think yeah Lambert's Listerine and I got this little cold cream with lid still on it. Couldn't see any writing on the bottom. And this just popped out right here. Look at that. Open funnel. But I don't know. It must have been an old throw or something. I don't know, but but I got a bottle that just landed right here. Let's check it out. It's like a med. Eddie, Eddie and Eddie's. Chemist, St. Louis, Missouri. I got one. I got a square way back there. And I got this. Planter's pot or something. And I got a few things. I got... Oh, there's a bottle right here. There we go. Oh, it's broke. Oh, well. Alright, well, I'm going to do some more digging. And uh, I'll get back to you when I get back to that bottle. That square back there in the back. Alright, I'm going to try to pull the one-handed dig here on this med. If I can find my digger. Which I can't. So... Let's try out with the shovel. There it is before I break it. There's my digger. Let's see what that is. Looks like a mid to me. That was slicko. Well, that wasn't much. Found some really cool, really cool colored porcelain or glass. Let's see. Found this. Pretty good shape. Um, one of these green blob top minerals. This big bad boy, something I'm not sure what it is. No embossing on it. Um, oh, yeah, That's some other cool. What's the color of that? It's pretty cool. Got two pieces of that. I got a sort of unembossed slick shoe polish thing here. Amber. There you go. Amber Med. And I got a, I think, I can't see because it's kind of getting dark out here. I think that's a Mega. Yeah. 
Anyways, those other two back there didn't work out too good. Whoa, we're blurry. Anyways, there's that mega bottle. All right, well, I'm gonna keep digging till dark here. There's a hole, kind of caving in the top. Get it cleaned out, ready for next time Christy's here. All right, we'll get back to you. All right, we're back in the hole. Well, I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see this. We got med right here. Well, it's not med. It's just a little cylinder bottle. Real wonky lid on it. Hand bomb. Early 1900s. Well, I think the one next to it. Maybe it looks like it's got a square base. No telling, it's way down there whether it's whole or not. I do not know. Let's see what we can do with it. Can't tell if it's embossed yet. It's moving a little bit. Be embossed. No, well, not only is it not embossed, but it's broken. It looks like a brick. <sighs> See, look, I get down here at the bottom, seeing a few things, but. Based off of black glass, probably a wine or something. Anyways, I know I do have one over there. It's way back there. I think you can just barely see it on the other side of that root. I'm gonna try to get that one out and see what it is. Dig a little right down in here. So we'll dig a little bit more. That was looks like that was embossed, maybe. Yeah, yes, it was. It was a Dr. Miles restorative broke. All right, well, I'll get back to you in a few. It'd be really nice if that was a milk. I don't know, it don't really look like a milk. That's broke. All right, we'll get back to you in a minute. Whew. Starting to get cold. Well, we did all right today. Got us a whip more in Boston. Double up the shoe polish. We got us a got that upside down. When it uh. Minnesota or something like that. It's also a shoe polish emboss. We have one of these at home already. This one's broke. I just thought I'd take it home and show Christy. Um, we got to say uh, a melons food right there. Got us. Uh, I think we got Eddie and Eddie times three. There's. Two of them. Got this cool bottle. Mustard or something. Pretty cool. Got us a Dr. Baker's. Got us a Swamp Root. I know we had, yeah, there's another Eddie and Eddie down there. Listerine. We got this cool little perfume there. Now this ashtray that's broke, I think I'm going to try to salvage these that are off the corner. These coins, or at least take them home and see what they... They're not coins, they're obviously in the glass. But, you know, I found another piece of it too. Those are pretty cool. I'll try to cut those out of there. Anyways, we had a pretty good day. Not too bad. Got a couple criers. 
steel Terre Haute broken and then this one I believe says Rock Island Illinois both beers both broke here's that here's that Cryer Whitmore from last time the Amber Whitmore dang wish I had that old anyways we're gonna get out of here we'll see you from the hole or when we get these cleaned up have a uh, have a safe and uh, festive new year from the hole. Ian here, back from the hole. Well, we got to clean up. Chrissy just got to clean up all the bottles. And uh, I had a pretty good day at the dump. It got pretty cold. I wasn't there all that long. But we found a few bottles and a few things we'd like to show you. So we'll st start right back here with this mineral bottle. We'll blob top. Nothing special about it, really. Neat color, though. Alright. We have a Dr. Baker's Pain Relief. Let's see. Let's save that big one for last. The old Kilmer, Kilmer salt, uh, Swamp Root. Always clean up good. Um... Let's see, we got a Mullins food. It's got a ground top, screw top deal. It says Boston on the back. Small. It's got the little tiny Mason type, even smaller. We got two of the Eddie and Eddie chemists from St. Louis, Missouri. It's a good shape. All these are right around 1890, 1915, something like that. Um, we have a Winona, and this is a shoe polish, and it says Minnesota, I believe. It's a shoe polish bottle, kind of like the Whitmore Boston bottles. Um, let's see, it got this cute little perfume type. Blown in a mold, 1900, let's say. Um, this is an Omega. It says Omega Oil. It's green. And it's trademarked. It's from the Omega. It's from the Omega Chemical Company of New York City. We got a really good, which we find quite a few of these, but this is an older type. This is the Listerine Lambert's Pharmacy. pharmacy and this is the Lambert's pharmacy company on there but it's highly embossed it's a dandy for a Listerine bottle that, that is another little perfume um, got this little this little jar here it's kind of in uh, honey amber it's got a ground it's got the ground lid on it or the ground top where they'd sheared it off and just grinded that off so it wasn't sharp and then we thought, let's see, we got a couple locals. We got a Cube Pharmacy, Brookfield, Missouri. This is a Powers and More. You've seen us dig a lot of these. Or not a lot, but a few. This is our rarest. We only have one of these here. Uh, let's see, I can't remember what it says. PT4 and Sons Southside Pharmacy on the south side and then this one really nice one L.W. Clark you can see the Brookfield Missouri down there on the bottom um, I think I showed about it yeah I'll show this in a second it's cool this one's kind of cool Kilner Brothers um, and it says Maker London well when I looked this up I noticed that uh, if you watch a lot of the um, if you watch a lot of the videos from over in the UK, um, you'll notice they have the cod bottles that have a little marble in it. I think those were Kilner bottles. So I think this is made by that same company that made some of the cod bottles. They were a soda bottle that they had, had a little little marble in it. But anyways, I found this. You guys saw me, you saw me with this. Christy cleaned this up. It's got one little flash crack right there. 
and maybe that was from when they threw it away I don't know it's I don't know that that's cut glass but it's in really great shape yeah somebody said it was like a cheese ball cover or something maybe. oh it's still got some of that uh, <laughs> that um, that darn uh, cheesecake cheesecake from last night from Captain Dan's but yeah that's really nice I'm glad to have that You've seen one of these on our videos before. This is a top to a butter dish. We have one, actually. Is it in our refrigerator? Yes. Yeah, right here. So, found we found this one. Well, we found, Christy and I dug this one and then we dug this the next day, but you can see this one obviously broken. We actually have butter in it, as you can see. But anyways, found that. And then I found this, which I thought was really cool. I'm sure it was an ashtray. But it's got the little little glass impression type coins right here. And I think I'm going to take my little Dremel and I'm going to cut these coins out. Got Lady Liberty there. Got the eagle there. It says $1 on it. I actually got quite a bit of it, but just got a picture of Lady Liberty. Anyways, I think that is all we have from this dig and a few, couple things that we just had laying around. Of course, we got the our jar of creepy doll heads Chrissy just showed you. I think we got more than that, but those are some pretty good ones. Bisque doll heads from the late 1800s. Anyways, it's uh, we got probably two inches of sleet and ice yesterday and... Um, we got another severe storm coming here in Missouri tonight and tomorrow, I think. Probably going to get some snow and stuff. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get this uploaded to YouTube. Who knows when we're going to get back out there in the hole. But hey, look what I got for Christmas. Christy got me a Crick Digger shirt. That's pretty cool. A little shout out to the Crick Diggers. I'm sure they don't need it, but it'd be nice if they'd give me a shout out back. That would be great. But uh, anyway, um, if you watched our video, like and subscribe. And uh, we just set up our um, Facebook account under Little Dirty Diggers. So check us out and like us there. And, uh, you know, subscribe to our videos here on uh, YouTube. And check our videos out there. And uh, we're, we're glad to, we're glad to uh, have everybody who's already done that. But uh, share it with your friends. Share our videos. So uh, we'll be back from the dump. And we'll see you from the hole.